My name is Mark Walsh from Integration Training. This is a list of five body-mind tools. So our body is an essential part of who we are, of how we communicate, of our emotions, of our values, um, essentially who we are. Wherever we go, our bodies are there determining how we behave. So our body, and by that I mean the subjective felt sense of the body rather than its size or its shape, um, is massively important for who we are and what we can do in the world. By bringing awareness to the following factors, we increase our self-knowledge uh, and also we can move from being victims of habit to uh, actually being what they call self-authoring, so determining our own behaviour. First you have awareness, then you have range, then you can build choice and then you're more effective. There are applications in this work to leadership, to stress management, communication, to team building. I work in all kinds of areas with all kinds of people. Whatever we do, we do it through our bodies. This is our basic operating system, if you will. So whatever we do, whatever relationships we're in, we're here as embodied creatures. So five basic body-mind tools I recommend learning to use. Attention, intention, acceptance, posture, and movement. So attention is our primary tool, because without awareness, uh, without noticing things, we can't change anything. Awareness can be built through uh, body-mind practice, yoga and tai chi, uh, through meditation. It's important to be aware not just of your body as an object, but as, an, as a body. Next up, intention. So if attention is a point, intention is a direction, a vector. Whatever we do, intention leads it, so it's important to look at this. This is more common sense than it sounds, actually. If you shake someone's hand, what reaches out before your hand is the intention. Next up, acceptance. So embodied acceptance, saying yes to who we are. Paradoxically, this is needed for any change. Fourth, posture. So our history shapes our posture and our posture will shape the possibilities of our future. We have a stance towards life that comes historically and will continue along a certain, a certain vein unless we do something about it. Anatomy can be destiny, as Freud said. Last up, movement. So Joseph Heller said we move through life like we move through space, and vice versa. If we want to live differently, we need to move differently. So these are the basics of embodied or body-mind study. Uh, any one of these areas can be a lifelong study. And I hope this has served as a very brief introduction to them.